came to him. All the publicans, which were the common folk, and sinners for to hear him. That's why they came. They didn't want some of that fish and bread from the 5,000. They just came to hear him. Next verse says this. And then there are two groups of people there. Pharisees and Sadducees. Those people who knew the religious rules and laws and those people who knew it and practiced it and were there to make sure that everybody kept the rules and laws. Don't sit up in this section. That's where I sit. Don't sit over that part. That's where we sit. Don't do like this in church. People who make the rules and people who carried out the rules and people who got rid of people who didn't keep up the rules. The Pharisees and the Sadducees. The Pharisees and the Sadducees. The Pharisees in the Bible kids in this version called it the scribes. The Pharisees and the scribes murmured. Now the sinners and publicans weren't murmuring. They were listening. Whoever you're sitting by, watch and see what they do during service, and they will give you a definition of who they are. Somebody who's here for the word won't sit up and grumble and complain about what time it is. And I can't believe he's saying this, and this is making me sick. Sometimes you can be sitting by somebody extremely religious, and they will show you their scars or their tattoos by their language. Listen to what they're saying while the preacher's preaching. The Pharisees and scribes murmured. Now look at what they were murmuring, look at what they were murmuring, they're murmuring. So Jesus is up there and, and, and he's, he's teaching, he's teaching the people and the scribes and Pharisees because they're in the front seats. They, 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 they murmured and this is what they said. This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. Who just said that? What they say he receiveth who? And so where were they? <laughs> what the heck sin are you talking about, fool? You just said something. You don't realize what you just said. And you about to make me tell you a story. Hold up now. So, so I'm just trying to show you how we got there. So they're memoring because they're in the big seat. They're in the hot chair. And so what they say means something. This man... He didn't turn away those sinners. I'm looking at some of those no goods out there now. Jesus up there just talking, just doing his thing. This man, talking to his partner sitting next to him in that comfortable chair, you know. This man receiveth the scribe. You ever sit by somebody in church, they don't really want you to talk to them. They act like they're ignoring you. You shut up, this man can walk on water. You know he can hear you. This man receiveth sinners and he eateth with them. I heard him over at Nicodemus' house. <laughs> Who are they talking about? And Jesus is the what? Everybody need to get that answer. Who are they talking about? And Jesus is the? So they're sitting up in there murmuring about the? If you murmur about the word, the Bible's about to give you a definition of who you are. You're cool, you're right. There are sinners in the house. But it looks like it takes one to know one. This man, he did, the sinners, and he takes them in. Somebody will leave your church because they'll come and say, you know, I went up in there and I saw three pimps up in that church. They didn't have pimp written on them, so you knew it some kind of way. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You may watch a lot of news, and you may be one of these people that stay on Facebook, and they one of your partners now. You know, you you tweeted them, or you you Instagrammed them in the background. You know, but whatever you do, but the, so they set it up. That's the, tonight's CD. Order the setup. The setup. They ordered the setup. They said, "Now look, this man." Sitting with the sinners, and he welcomed them in. The next verse 
says, real simple. And now he spoke. He didn't address the ignorance. He talked to those who came to hear him. Amen. Let me tell you what our biggest mistake is. We hear folk acting a fool in church, and then we show our fool by saying to them, ah, you missed your point, baby. They did that to make you show your character. They spoke out so that Jesus would address them. Jesus said, first of all, you don't qualify to get me off my course. These people came to hear me. So I'm going to speak, but I'm going to speak a parable unto who? Unto who? Read it. Them who? Them that came to hear him. Them that came to criticize him won't hear him anyway. If you didn't come tonight to hear from God's word, you're waiting on me to make a mistake. And you've already been satisfied because I've probably made several. But if you came to hear him, you are sitting on the edge of your seat now. Because you know that even though you haven't spoken to me, God is starting to speak to you. Here's a setup. So he started to speak to them. And when he started to speak to them, he started by saying, you know, and then that's when we get into that 15th chapter. He started all these things or stories. Okay, that was a man that had a sheep, and one sheep left the fold. Boop. <laughs> okay, you didn't get that. Uh, Shannon. All these are sheep. You come over here. Real quick. Uh, ah, stop. What's that? And what are y'all? Y'all the sheep also. But well, one left. Act like you're eating. So keep eating. Keep, keep eating. There's a whole trail. I'm going to lay the trail of food out here for you. See? And so the devil set her up. And she wandered away from the foe. Okay, look up, Shannon, and go, oh, my, I'm lost. <laughs> okay, so he started telling these parables. One sheep just kind of wandered off. Jesus understands that you didn't want to leave church, but some things just happened, and you just kind of wandered off. The money got good. The party got good. The social life got good. And then you met another sheep out there. And so y'all just put kind of, and so, so he started telling the story. He didn't come to maybe tell that story, but he heard them murmuring and the sermon changed. Are y'all getting how it happened? See, if you don't get how it happened, you're going to get angry because you're thinking, well, why'd you pick that sermon? He overheard those who were the respectable people in the community, constantly badgering those who were trying to become respectable. Amen. You talked about that. I want you to name me a, a coin, quarter, nickel, penny, dime. Okay, a nickel. And in the same chapter, see, he's talking about the lost corn, lost sheep. So the sheep is gone. Jesus said, because I knew where it was, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to bring it back. Then he talks about this lost. The nickel just rolled over there. Don't get on the ground, baby. Don't get there. <laughs> there was a woman that lost a nickel. Okay. The rest of the money was still over there. But the nickel just went over there. And the nickel wasn't worth more than the quarter, but it was part of the whole cash flow. So even though it wasn't worth a quarter, it wasn't worth a dime, it was still a nickel. And so Jesus says, even though it didn't seem right, it still deserves to be. I'm just trying to tell you how he got on his soapbox. <laughs> How many of you in this room, sometimes you didn't feel like a quarter. You didn't feel worth a dime. But isn't it amazing tonight, you are in here, and he said, whatever you do, it shall prosper. Why? Because you rose.